All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use conversational part programming routines within a program to set up a work offset being used in a G code or NC program. Very simple to do, but the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have a conversational program open and the NC program that we're going to be running. The first thing we'll do is we're gonna to go to our conversational program. We're gonna insert a miscellaneous probe part setup, and then we'll begin to fill out the information in this block. The idea is we're going to, from a conversational program, create a uh, part probe per zero cycle. Then we're going to put an NC merge block in to then call the NC program, and then the um, program will automatically run from that point using the part setup that we probed within the auto program. So again, I inserted a new block in my conversational program, block number one. It is a probe part setup block. I just start to fill out the information. I'll say tool number 99. I'll just do an edge for this example. We'd fill out the information here, just like we would if we were doing this in a part setup um, sequence that wasn't within a program. This is no different than what we would do if we were just doing it manually. What kind of results or where do we want to store the results? Well, we're probably going to pick a work offset, either G54 through 59, or we can pick an auxiliary offset and use one of the 93 auxiliary work offsets. But we would pick where we want to store it. Let's say work offset number G55. Set a preset value if the edge we're touching isn't zero. We will want to put what's the absolute location of that edge. We can even go in and pick a skew cycle if the part we're not 100% sure is going to be straight and we need to, we need to probe for zero first and then pick a skew cycle to find out what the angle is. But we, you see we have these X, Y, and Z start for the uh, probing sequence and also for the skew. And those values are gonna be either machine position relative or part position relative. And that is gonna be determined by, under my program parameters, if I go to probing, you'll see this start coordinate reference. It's either gonna be a part zero reference number, meaning that it's gonna be from my zero point in the program, where those go to begin, or it's going to be a machine zero location, meaning that it's gonna use a machine location to go to that specific uh, area before it begins to probe. Now, once I have that set up and I'm comfortable with the way that it's going to be probing, my next block in the program is gonna be a insert NC program call, it's just an NC merge, just like we used in other videos. The first thing it wants to know is the program number. That's not the name of the NC program that you're gonna call. It's the four digits at the top of that NC program. 1775 for the particular program that I have um, called up. And then we must end that NC program with an M99 instead of an M30. So I'm gonna go back here to my program I'm gonna open this program up. You can see that 1775 is the four digit number. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and make sure that I have an M99 there. Then what will happen, when I go to run this conversational program, you won't run the G code program, you'll run the conversational. It's going to probe for the part setup, set that work offset, then call this NC program from the memory, run it, when it's done, it'll jump back out to the conversational program and the program will end. Then you would just load your next part, hit cycle start, it'll automatically probe, run the NC program, and end.